Joining us now from Westminster is Conservative MP for North Warwickshire, Craig Tracy. Uh, welcome, Trace. Uh, uh, Craig, thank you for... Trace. Trace. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, your thoughts on the budget? We've been reflecting on the fact it all sounded very good, uh, but if you break it all down for the average person on the street, if you're lucky... It's a quid a day, maybe two quid. Uh, it's not very much, is it? It's pretty thin gruel, all of this. No, I mean, I think there is a lot to be actually really positive about. You know, I was slightly nervous going into it because um, you never know how these things pan out. But I think I was very, very keen that there was tax relief for people in the, in the pockets. And, you know, that's a very significant hit, that 2% national insurance uh, reduction. And, and that will benefit people. And it, I think the other thing is that it will come in uh, in January, which I think is, is a great move. Um, and, you know, the, the, also the stuff around investment and, you know, the best way to grow the economy, the best way to, um, to, to make people feel better up is, is to grow the economy and these incentives I think will really help if you look at them in isolation then you know they, they are individually quite small put them all together and it, it does actually look like a responsible way to to grow the economy and, and have everybody feeling better off and maybe do more of the things that we'd like to see like uh, increasing the, the, the thresholds I mean, yeah, you talk about growing the economy. I don't think you've got much time to do it to prove to the public before the next general election that you can lay claim to having done that. Uh, but it seems to me one of the main points of uh, this, uh, th this budget is to say people need to get back to work and we're going to make that work pay, increasing um, uh, the, the, the uh, lowest rate of... Uh, uh, sorry, lowest rate wages there um, by £1 an hour. But that's going to cost small businesses a lot of money, isn't it? So you're giving with one hand and taking with the other. Well, I think, you know, we always, as a Conservative government, we always believe that getting people back into work is the best uh, way forward. And, it, you know, it's, it's the most responsible way to do these things. Um, we've got 7 million people out of work at the moment and a million unfilled jobs. You know, one of the challenges that we get and the reason that we rely so much on external migration is because, you know, we... We have this pot of people who are not in work that we, we really need to incentivise back. So it's a long-term decision that, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, but I think it's, it's exactly the right thing to be doing. Uh, Craig, I, I mean, this was framed by the Chancellor as uh, a, an autumn statement to turbocharge the economy. I mean, with the best will in the world, that is uh, slightly over the top, isn't it? I and mean, as you just said... Uh, you know, these are difficult times. We understand, to an extent, uh, that uh, Jeremy Hunt could only offer us small offerings, you know, small savings. Uh, this is not an autumn statement to turbocharge the economy, is it, by any, any stretch? So, no, I, I would look at it as a longer-term uh, uh, statement um like i say i think these things will will take a little bit of time to be realized because investment doesn't happen overnight and the benefits of it aren't seen overnight but i think it is certainly a responsible way to to be delivering things and in terms of how some of these things are actually going to be done in practice, I'm left scratching my head as to how half a million people are suddenly going to get access to treatments for mental health issues to get them back to work when there are huge wait times when it comes to the social care sector. Similarly, how after 18 months of no work, someone has to go back into training, how that is going to be policed? Are you worried that these things are actually deliverable given the context that they're being promised in? So, I mean, there's been a lot of work done on this uh, over the last 12 months or so, and, you know, I've been visiting my local job centre plus, and they're, they've been working towards these changes coming in for quite some time. But I think there's a lot of other interventions that you can make now around, um, you know, the, the long-term health plan is focusing more on prevention of, of illnesses. So you take pr pressure off the system that way. But also things like social prescribing work really well in getting people back into uh, situations and into, into new roles. And I think a lot of the time, you know, some of the challenges that people face, they want to get back into work, but it, it's the confidence to do that. They've been out of the system so long. So I think with these proper targeted inter interventions, there's no reason at all where we can't get you know, a big swear the people back into uh, the jobs market. Craig, I fear that if you are successful, then the Labour Party will be the ones to end up taking uh, the credits for it. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. That's uh, MP Craig Tracy. Well, let's